Good morning to all. We're here today at the home of cricket, Lords. I'm Adam Gilchrist, and with me for this match is Michael Atherton, Mel Jones, and the one and only Ali Mitchell. Thanks for the fabulous introduction. We're just about ready to get underway. Thanks, Ali. It looks like the captains are ready for the toss. Let's go pitch side. The home team winning the toss and they've decided to bat first. These two teams always produce some great games as we see some of the key players come out onto the ground. It's a fantastic crowd in today. It's an evenly poised matchup. Let's see what happens first ball. We're about to get underway and already the crowd is up and about. This is looking to be a great day of cricket. Smacks that away through the gap. Well, these are the sorts of shots you just stand and admire. Gets onto the back foot and rolls the wrists to keep control and find the boundary. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Goes over the top with that shot. Finds the fielder with that shot. Couldn't get it through the field. Six runs out of there. The Spirit are six for none. First of the power play overs down and some good shot making to start things off. Langston from the pavilion end. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. The new batter always likes to feel bad on ball as they bring a bit of nervous energy to the wicket. Pulled away but straight to square leg. It sounded good. It sounded really good. That's a maximum. It's gone 12 deep into the crowd. Well, that ball has been hit. It's flown into the crowd. To get that much power coming forward onto the front foot, it's just ridiculous. Edged it. That's the over. The spirit, 14 for none. They're off to a great start. Batters timing the ball well. And the bowlers look a little bit rattled. The new bowler is coming into the attack. The new bowler into the attack.
threw the hands at it, got it early, but enough of it to go for four. Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. Doesn't beat the infield. Beats the outside edge. Good bowling there. Pick that up nicely and they'll get a couple of runs. Nicely played. Just runs one. Seven runs added in that over. The spirit, 21 for none. Everyone's gone up. An innings that promised much and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. The field will come up now, you'd think. Pressure should be on as the new batter strides to the middle. They'll be looking for another quick wicket. Can't get that outside the ring field. Shots, land back and punch through the gap in the offside and that'll be four. Knight was quick onto that one, cut it away, through the field and to the boundary. Can she come back with a dot ball? Square cut, finds point, no run. End of the over, six runs coming from it. The Spirit, a 27 for one. Well, it's been crisp, elegant, easy shot making so far. Plenty of runs and plenty more if they keep it up. The right armour is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Was quick onto that in the infield. Power and precision in that shot. That was just a super shot. The delivery was fine, great line and length, but just put away. How will she reply? Bowling fielders look really confident. Oh. 
Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. End of the over, four runs coming off it. The Spirit, a 31 for one. And Van Nieke from the pavilion end. The Spirit are now 31 for one. Great shot through the gap. That was a boundary the moment the ball left the bat. Can't time that any better. Perfection. I didn't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. They just need to keep the ball in the right areas and the rewards will come. Two straight and punched through the leg side. Luff got it into the gap and the ball did the rest. Brilliant shot. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Gone! Played all around that one. What a delivery. A long walk back to the pavilion. This has not been a good knock. Not what you'd expect from someone of this skill level. A difficult period as they come to the wicket. They'll take plenty of time to settle themselves in before facing their first ball. Van Nieke finishes an economical over and walks away with a wicket, which was fully deserved. This bowler knows how to give the ball an almighty tweak. Let's see how they go. Nice shot. It's straight to gully. Massive outside edge. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Edged it. Yeah, they've gone up here. There's no debate about that one. Oh, wow. Brilliant reactions and what a catch. This inning's just cut short before it really flourished. It really looked like it'd be moving on to a big, big score, but not to be. First ball for the batter, coming in. That silenced the local fans, another wicket. As they head back to the pavilion, they'll be wishing they went about this innings a little differently. Not too much to speak of on the scoreboard. First, I'd focus on just trying to survive this ball, deny the hat-trick, and then worry about getting runs. Clex that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. That's the end of a very good over. Great pressure being placed on the batters here. Gray, the right armour, is coming into the attack from the nursery end. The new bowler into the attack. Well, dealt with that beautifully. Saw the short one and got out of the way. No more of those in this over. Smacks that away through the gap. That really wasn't a great delivery. Seen early and it was dispatched with a plum. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket's going to come. Drive straight down the ground. Mid-on will collect that one, though.
That was a solid shot, really well played. Ball was dropped just a little shorter and a great shot off the back foot. Might look to go big again here. Gray has kept the pressure on in this over. Just needs to maintain the momentum going forwards. End of the ninth over going with spin now. now on nine before. Maybe Billiards, the new bowler into the attack. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Oh, nicely done. That's gone fine. And well before. Well bowled, but that's another super shot. Onto the front foot, presented the full face of the bat and got it into the gap and all the way to the rope. Cuts that off well in the infield. Caught. It's one of the easiest catches you'll see. Oh, great work. Held their nerve while the ball was in the air. And they've taken a good catch. The big wicket is gone. Never really looked comfortable. And now they have to start the long walk back. London Spirit are now 54 for five. New batter comes to the crease. Never an easy time to come into bat after the fall of a wicket. Going with pace now. Massive outside edge. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Edged. Good bowling. Kept it nice and tight and made it hard to score. It's been a bit of a battle finding some big overs, but they worked the ball around nicely. Villiers coming into the attack from the nursery end. The new bowler into the attack. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. Square cut, finds point, no run. Finds a fielder with that shot.
straight to the fielder. Another really good over comes to an end. The batters just haven't been able to cut loose in the last few overs. Gray, the pace bowler, coming into the attack. Eva Gray, the new bowler, into the attack for the Oval Invincibles. Oh, yes. Oh, brilliant stuff. Open the shoulder and lofted that over cover. That'll be six more. Just a little bit of room given, and the power was immense. That's flown over the boundary. How will the bowler respond? Oh, I thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. Goes over the top with that shot. It just looks so easy. Gets onto the front foot and eases through the ball. They can just stand and admire that shot. What a superb delivery. Too good. Just didn't know where it was going and knocked him over. Really getting to the tail enders now. Sixth wicket gone. There's not a lot left in this lineup. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Couldn't get it through the field. End of the over, and it's a good one for the bowling side, not letting the batters build any momentum. Langston coming back into the attack. Beth Langston into the attack for the Oval Invincibles. This batter is brilliant off the back foot, transfers their weight back and pulls it away for a maximum. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. A little bit of wobble on that ball. It's safely taken by the keeper. Not enough on it to entice a shot, though. Nice shot, but straight to Gully. Seven runs added in that over. The Spirit, a 74 for six. Runs have been at a premium this middle portion of the match. Oh, that's beautifully struck right out of the guts and all the way. Showing that they mean business this innings. Barely seem to have got going in their hitting sixes. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Doesn't beat the infield. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. End of the over, eight runs coming from it. The Spirit are 82 for six.
End of the over. Van Nico from the nursery end. Go for it. It's high in the air. Field are coming around, but it looks like we'll carry. Well, that was just textbook and a bit of power as well to lift the ball over the top. It just keeps going. Oh, <laughs> gosh, went long, high and hard. That is huge. Two in a row. That's a brilliantly aggressive shot. Gets on the front foot and it flies over the boundary. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. End of the over, 13 coming from it. The Spirit, a 95 for six. End of the 15th over, London Spirit are now on five for six. And we'll have another five balls from this bowler. Massive outside edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Onto the front foot. Super shot. Should be four. Erz on the side of bowling slightly fuller, and they've been put away. Van Nika, I don't think, will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. It's a nice sweep shot, but finds the fielder at square leg. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Six runs out of there. The Spirit, 101 for six. The right armour is coming on to bowl from the pavilion end. The new bowler into the attack. Big edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Nice shot. Cut away. Running towards the boundary. That'll take some chasing. Well, that one's for the textbook. Stands tall on top of the bounce and a lovely flick of the wrist at the end. How will she reply? Thick edge. Well, didn't time that at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. Can't afford to go too full again. It does help to switch up your deliveries, just to keep them guessing. Ten runs out of there. The Spirit, 111 for six. 
end of the 17th over. London Spirit are now 11 for 6. Five more balls for this bowler. Gray from the pavilion end. And that brings up the 50 partnership for these two. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Flex that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Huge edge. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Well, that was a very solid shot. Read the length early to get onto the front foot and that raced away for four. 11 runs added there for Spirit, 122 for six. There was some wonderful stroke play on offer for the fans here. Bowlers just weren't tight enough. Van Nieker back into the attack. Smacks that away through the gap. Yeah, too wide. It was there to be hit, and it was really given the treatment. Boundary last ball. What's to come this delivery? I wonder. Massive outside edge. Gone aerial with that one. It'll land safe. Might not be four. You can't hit the ball much better than that. Timed it to perfection. A good innings. That's 50. A simple raise of the bats. Thumbs up to their batting partner, and they're ready to go again. Can she come back with a dot ball? Really playing all their shots that over. Very expensive. Nearly got through them, just got onto it in time, and with enough bat speed to pick up four. The bowler will continue for the next five balls. Final over in this innings. Plenty of wicket and it's going to need to be very accurate. Got to try and pitch it up into the toes. Simple as you like. The batter didn't bother to look at more than one delivery in that over. Oh, great work. Held their nerve while the ball was in the air and they've taken a good catch. They find themselves seven wickets down. It's about now you need someone to stand up and stick around at the crease. That's a long way to walk out there just to turn around and walk straight back. They'll just want to get this first run behind them and then push on.
Misses. That's a big chance going begging. Well, he can't fault that shot. It's nicely played, and it was four runs all the way. The last one helped the scoring rate, making their intentions for this innings. Beats the outside edge. Good bowling there. No, no, no. Terrible shot. And that's the end of the innings. The Invincibles have been set a target of 141 runs. I reckon this is a respectable total. If the bowlers can get firing and get some early wickets, this will be a difficult chase. Filer coming in. Finds the fielder with that shot. Big edge. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Thick edge. A uh, good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball. It'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. 
Beats the field with a great shot. A poor delivery, and you don't pass up chances like that. Crushed away for four. Back-to-back -back boundaries. Can they make it? Three in a row really put the bowler on the back foot. Misses everything. That's the over. The Invincibles are eight for none. First over of the second innings is complete, and it was a good one for the batters. Some lovely shots played. Glanced away nicely, but fine short, fine leg. A lot of pressure coming to the crease. Not had the best of weeks leading up to this game, so I want to show everyone their strength. Two straight. It's just been helped on its way for a maximum. Fine shot there. Just textbook. Sees the ball go shorter and gets back fast to pull that shot away for the six. Six lost ball. How will the bowler reply? Couldn't get it through the field. Across the stumps and a flick of the wrist. It's wide and square leg. Could be four. Threaded it through brilliantly. All timing on that shot. Always difficult to focus after what happened last ball, but you just got to stay positive and believe the wicket's going to come. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. End of the over, a big one. 11 runs coming from it. The Invincibles, 19 for none. Two overs gone and they're off to a superb start in this power play. 12 plus an over, well ahead of the required rate. Norris from the nursery end. Nicked it. Pushed under the front foot and presented the full face of the bat. Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder this delivery after the boundary. Gone! Played all around that one. What a delivery. Is that a game changer? A real pillar in the batting order has been removed early on. With four of that wicket, the new batter comes charging out to the crease. They're quick to take guard and face up. Drive straight down the ground, mid on, and collect that one there. Didn't need to bother about running with timing like that. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Great shot, pulled straight to backward square leg though. End of the over, the Invincibles are 28 for one. End of the fourth over. Glenn, the spinner coming into the attack. Into the attack for London Spirit. Massive outside edge. Just need to keep it simple. Line and length. Round about off stump. That'll force a mistake. Oh, I thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off.
That's great fielding. That ball was flying. Four runs added there. The Invincibles, 32 for one. Four gone in the power play, and we've seen some excellent running between the wickets and good shot making with a little sprinkle of luck as well, of course. Kerr into the attack now from the pavilion end. Pulled away, but straight to square leg. Square cut, finds point, no run. That's a big one, a maximum, away she goes. If you lose the pictures, it's because it's hit the broadcast truck. The runs are starting to come now. Really good shot for six. This innings is starting to build. Might look to go big again here. Driven on the onside, but straight to mid-wicket. Sailing over, but grabbed right on the boundary. Well, the end of a productive innings. It didn't quite ignite into fireworks as we would have hoped, but still solid work. And with that wicket, we'll see a change out in the middle. The task here will be that of support and getting themselves settled into their innings. Cut away and through the gap. Lovely shot. Might be four. Solid shot, really well played. Ball was just a little short, and that was a great shot off the back foot. Cuts that off well in the infield. Nice shot, but straight to Gully. Kerr will be pleased with their work in that over. Kept the batters under pressure very, very well. It's something they do so well. Filer from the nursery end. Can't get that outside the ring field. Massive outside edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Bolden, straight through. Good swing coming back in. The trudge back to the pavilion. A disappointing display in the end for someone with such batting skills. This one goes down as a fail. Now, yeah, great opportunity to prove the critics wrong. Certainly needs to build an innings for the team. Edge. 
Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Head over the ball. Great shot. That's racing away. They didn't time that at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. Five runs out of there. The Invincibles, 49 for three. They've got busy working the ball around and hitting boundaries in between. It's a good setup for a strong finish. How will the bowler respond? Lovely cover drive straight to the extra cover fielder. Square cut, finds point, no run. Beats the field with a great shot. That showed great skill. Lovely timing. The boundary was the only place that ball was heading. How will she reply? Great shot through the gap. End of the over. Nine runs coming from it. The Invincibles for 58 for three. End of the over. What a delivery. An innings that promised much, and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. And with that wicket, the new batter will mark centre. Just needs to rotate the strike early on as they get settled into their innings. Clex that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Thick edge. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Doesn't beat the infield. End of the over. Just one off it. The Invincibles are 59 for four. With 55 balls remaining, the overall Invincibles need a two runs and have four out. Grace Harris, the new bowler into the attack for London Spirit. Harris from the pavilion end. Straight to the fielder. Was quick onto that in the infield.
Harris has finished off a tidy over there. Nothing to show for it, but will be well pleased nevertheless. shape right and launched it one for the textbook can she come back with a dot ball does very well to quickly get across to this one Straight to deep long on. Didn't have to move at all for that one. Oh, great work. Held their nerve while the ball was in the air. And they've taken a good catch. Starting to get interesting now. That's the fifth wicket. And a very frustrated person is heading back to the pavilion. Yeah, big opportunity. They've worked really hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to build an innings and get a big score on the board. End of a really good over. Gets a wicket and really slowing down the scoring pace. End of the 11th over. The overall invincibles are now on 69 for five. Chance gone. You're kidding. Keeper with the fast hands. Well, this is a fantastic wicket. Kept the runs down, really didn't get settled, and looked to be in trouble for most of the knot. First ball for the batter coming in. Big edge. Got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Really good over, takes a wicket and keeps it tight. Somehow they've got to find some boundaries. End of the 12th over. The overall invincibles are now 70 for six. Kerr from the pavilion end. Finds a fielder with that shot. Massive outside edge. Oh, wow. That is out of here. That could be out of the ground. Hit that one on the up. A fabulous drive for six. That last ball isn't something you want to repeat of. You don't want to be giving away easy runs.
Couldn't get it through the field. Well, that was another good over. You can see the frustration growing on the batters. End of the 14th over. The over invincibles are now on seven pistols. Two straight and punched through the leg side. Ers on the side of bowling slightly fuller and they've been put away. The last one helped the scoring rate, making their intentions for this innings. Well timed, but there's a fielder out there. Seven runs out of there. The Invincibles are 84 for six. End of the 15th over. The overall Invincibles are now 84 for six. What a shot. She absolutely laced that. No need to run. Pushed onto the front foot and presented the full face of the bat. Norris shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots. Just need to tighten their areas now. That is quite extraordinary. Vanika, don't do it to them like that. What a shot. Just missed the line. Not the worst delivery, but that was dispatched with interest. Everyone just watch that in awe. Huge edge. That's great fielding. That ball was flying. 11 runs out of there. The Invincibles are 95 for six. Dean back on now. It's a good delivery, but it doesn't matter when you play it like that. Four runs. I didn't feel there was too much wrong with that last delivery. They just need to keep the ball in the right areas and the rewards will come.
drilled that one away. You just can't hit it any better than that. Beautiful shot. No chance at all for the fielders. Getting nice and settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. End of the over. Ten runs from it. The Invincibles, 105 for six. Glenn from the pavilion end. Power and precision in that shot. But he sometimes just have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well timed, and four runs. A good innings, that's 50. A simple raise of the bats. Thumbs up to their batting partner, and they're ready to go again. Don't need to do anything special. Line and length is the key here. Lovely cover drive, but straight to the extra cover fielder. Oh, great shot on the up. Didn't try to hit it too hard. It's been through the air, but four more. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shot. Big edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Onto that early, that could be four. Smashed all over the park. I wonder if the captain will stick with them. Been some really good overs strung together. They've taken some risks, along with some good running. A very good total is on the way. We'll have another five balls from this bowler. Don't always mind getting hit for runs. What's important, just focus on getting the next delivery right. Oh, that's a great shot early on. Wide of cover, and that'll give her a bit of confidence early on. May just pull up short of the boundary, though. You sometimes just have to stop and admire batting like that. Gets onto the front foot early, well-timed, and four runs. Can't get that outside the ring field. Ten runs added in that over. The Invincibles are 127 for six. The over Invincibles are now 127 for six. So then, the new bowler into the attack. Pulled away, straight to square leg. Caught, and that's stuck. Simple as you like, the batter didn't bother to look at more than one delivery in that over. The score is now 127. The right-handed batter is coming in at number nine. She's got her tail up.
the bottle and it's really confident. Nice shot, just a flick off the pads. Nearly got through them, just got onto it in time, and with enough bat speed to pick up four. Tried something a bit different last delivery, and the captain shouldn't mind that too much. If they get it right, they just might get that wicket. Four runs added there. The Invincibles are 131 for seven. There was some wonderful stroke play on offer for the fans here. Bowlers just weren't tight enough. End of the 20th Norris, the left armour, is coming into the attack from the nursery end. Norris, the new bowler into the attack for London Spirit. Ah, oh, that's a biggie. Oh, that is huge. All the way for a maximum. And it's gone many rows deep. That's a brilliantly timed shot off the back foot. It just flew to the boundary for six. They need three to win. Wow, that's missed a lot. Oh, the batter's made a bit of a meal of that delivery. Massive outside edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Oh, that's gone large. What a way to finish off the innings. A big maximum. All the way, got it right out of the middle. Well, you never knew which way this match was going. A great finish to a super match that had everything. From all of us here on the commentary team, I hope you've enjoyed the match. Ended up being a very close one. Hope to see you soon.